going to do what I call a deep dive into the concept called the Opportunity Canvas. Last week, I introduced the concept to you of, of this canvas plus another canvas, which we'll talk about later. But for right now, I want to focus on when you see an opportunity, how to sit down and analyze it and dive into it in a really deep way. And this is a huge tool for you as a business owner long term, in case you stumble across something, if you want to expand into a new market, if you find something that wow, I want to really go into that aspect of it. This tool is excellent in the process as we go through. I hope you also enjoyed the aspect of the interview you dealt with on an entrepreneur who went in, in really, in eight years, he started with a food truck and a $5,000 loan as he went through and expanded to seven restaurants in that short period of time, including two years of weird, strange shutdowns in the economy of California. Not bad. Pay attention for opportunities that are out there, even in the most unexpected circumstances as you go. Let's talk about a startup as you go through. There's an existing window cleaning service as you go through. Daniel's window cleaning service has been in business for a number of years, and he washes windows on a regular basis. He's had crews up to 10. He's had crews to two. And sometimes it's just him as he goes through. He's gone through all kinds of different cycles as you go through. But the one thing that he has is a well-established customer list with many repeat customers nonstop, and he provides them month after month. He has a residential section, and he's got a commercial section. Residentials often are once or twice a year. Commercials are once a month as you go through. He has some people wanting service every single month as you go through. It just depends as to what the customer wants. But right now, he has an existing customer base. What opportunities can you go through to add to a window cleaning service? Typically, he has one or two vans, and the vans have a crew of two in them, and the, and the vans have a, a long two-story squeegee and a washing device that can sit down and wash the windows as it goes through. So let's go through an opportunity canvas and see what we can do to help his window cleaning service expand. We're gonna take the opportunity canvas we're going to go through this square by square and just go through and see what opportunities we can find out there. The problem we want to solve, expand a window cleaning service to generate more revenue while providing more service to existing customers. He can always add more, but let's first of all see what he can do with existing customers as you go through. Here are a number of ideas that we brainstormed. We just sat down on, of all things, on a napkin with a pen, and we said, what can you do? So he can do gutter cleaning. Now, the thing is, keep in mind, he is ground-based. As soon as he sits down there and adds services on second stories, which is very common in residential areas to go through, he has to have a two-story ladder on it, and he has to have a work person up on top of the ladder as you go through his liability increases in the process. So, so make certain we're paying attention to the possibilities. You have somebody up there, in all likelihood, they won't fall off, but that's a possibility. Pay attention to the entire thing. Go into business with a clear vision of what can happen. He can also do solar panel cleaning, which is becoming a bigger and bigger part of the economy. And by the way, Pay attention to the Paris Accord where the governments of planet Earth got together and they all says, yay, let's go green and energy and everything that we do. By 2050, if they do everything they claim they're gonna do. Now, by the way, I don't have any belief whatsoever they will do what they say they'll do. They're government people. But that being said, say they only do half. They've committed to doing, spending $131 trillion between now and 2050. Even if they do half of that, giant amounts of money are being funneled into solar panels and there's a market to install them and to clean them. And that's what he does right now. He's got a fabulous cleaning service for glass. He just sets up there. If he's got a two-story ladder, squeak, 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 the, wood, the solar panels are clean and he does it once a year or twice a year, whatever that customer wants us to go through. All of a sudden now, he's got gutter cleaning added to it, maybe once a year, and he has solar panel cleaning on top of it. He can continue the same route to clean the windows, and then he tosses on gutter cleaning once a year. He tosses on solar panel cleaning once or twice a year. All of a sudden, on exactly the same route and close to the same time, because most of his business is driving on the road between customers, he's going to make more money. 
you know what? He's going to be up on the roof cleaning the solar panels. Hey, maybe he includes an inspection and takes out the cell phones. Go, click, 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 click. The customers don't want to get up on roofs, and he's a Southern California business. The, the roofs are not asphalt single. The roofs are tile, and sometimes wet tile can be slippery. I don't know about you. That's something that I want to do, but he's a professional at this, and he already does it as you go through. Let's toss in solar panel inspections as you go through on top of that and charge 50 bucks for it, and he takes pictures of the top and the bottom as you go through. It's a whole 10 to 12 minute process on each route that he goes on. And then let's go through, maybe, maybe he can go through and contact somebody in the electrical business if there's a repair, if he sees a wire out or somebody reports something, he can sit down, have, have a business that, that he refers to. They come in, he gets 10% of the overall amount for repair if he refers them to them. And maybe, just maybe, of this $131 trillion, government subsidized everything. And if somebody already has solar panels and that person buys an electric vehicle for charging, by the way, that's going to increase your electrical load. Maybe we need to have an opportunity to add solar panels to existing stuff as you go through. Another one on top of that. So let's do that. And maybe that same electrical company can install an additional solar panel. And maybe they can install the fancy dancy plug they sit down and plugs into your garage or outside your garage to charge your electric vehicle on top of it. You're talking three additional services he can provide, and he will not be adding any more labor to it. He's getting a piece of the action off the people he refers to. And, and let's look at the aspect of a house battery installation as well as you go through. So here's four additional services he can provide on an existing route that he already has, and he gets a commission off it as you go through. So he started describing the problem, expand the window cleaning service into solar panel cleaning, solar panel inspection, solar panel repair, solar panel panel addition, electric car recharging, and let's toss in battery charge, new batteries as you go through for an entire house as you go through. All of a sudden, he's going to take a really small business, and it's not really rocket science as to how to clean windows. It's just good, hard labor as you go through. He can expand into from one aspect to doing the whole thing. Maybe even toss in, shoot, let's talk about the aspect of cleaning sidewalks as you go through with a power washer. In Southern California, we don't like to use power washes because there are water shortage we always have. But that being said, he tosses that in too as you go through. He can sit down and have an existing route, existing customers, and give them one solar panel cleaning, solar panel inspection, solar panel repair, solar panel additions, electric car recharging, whole house batteries as you go through, and even power washing. He can take one service and add seven more to it and have eight different services as you go through. What type of people who have this problem? People have solar panels, a growing market in Southwest United States should have them cleaned annually. It can be articulated with existing windows and the same tools at the same time perform an inspection. Boom, three things over there as you go through. How are they currently solving problems? Many solar panels go without cleaning or inspection. By the way, just so you know, I was self-serving in this description because I already had Daniel come in over here and I had to clean my solar panels, don't tell anybody, in three years. They still work pretty good. I still got a, a, a rebate annually from the electric company. But that being said, they should be cleaned every year. So I talked him into it. I had to sell it to him in the process. And all of a sudden, now he has more opportunities to go through. When you fill in the different aspects as you go through, describe the problem you want to solve. You can see what we just had on a previous slide right there. People will have the problem. That, uh, what do you do? So I have described that there. How are they solving the problems? A lot of them don't go without cleaning or inspection. Okay, so that being said, now I do because they talked in the process you go through. Let's go on on the opportunity canvas. What else? Describe your solution. Use an existing window cleaning company. Expand into additional markets as you go through. While at the same time, gutter cleaning, solar panel cleaning, and then the series of things as you go through. How will your solution be different? Combine multiple service for one-stop homeowner convenience and expanded services and revenue. 
I don't know about you, but being on the phone all day long, calling different people to sit down and clean my windows, have somebody else come clean my solar panels once in a while, clean the gutter as you go through. Who wants to make those calls? I already have a guy who's dependable and does good work that I trust that can do all this. And he's not going to shake me down for a lot of money because if he does, I may dump him and get somebody else because of the fact that he already has a good contract with me. The company may not want to expand. Okay, that could be a problem. Also, this involves second story work, which is probably the higher risk factor than ground-based work it should go through. Who's gonna buy into solution? People like one-stop shopping. I don't think I'm unique in that. I think maybe you'd like to have something like this as well. How you provide stakeholders, how would they learn about the problem, is your solution, direct mail, word of mouth, advertising. He just had to let me know as you go through and how will potential stakeholders implement your solution, have a desire to increase revenue as you go through. Here are the nine different cells to fill it on the opportunity canvas. We just walked through how one company sat there and used it to expand their business opportunities as you go out there. Now you, as, as a student in this class, you now have a tool that we've talked about, the aspect of a startup if you wanna do that, which is really what this is about, or expand the business that you already have. This will be an assignment for you to complete. I'm gonna be asking you in an assignment later this week to go through, map out an opportunity canvas for yourself, for your own business as you go through. If you have a hard time with that, then I want you to go through and map out somebody else's business and see where this can take you as you watch, as you go through, map them out what you think they thought when they're looking into a new market as you go through. Either way, this is an assignment I want you to complete because here on the Opportunity Canvas is a great tool for you to discover an opportunity for you to sit down and pursue that dream of you becoming an entrepreneur and owning your own business. Take care.